So at one to one, what we've realized is a lot of our high school athletes and clients, they're because they're stuck at home, they're training hard, but they're not able to get in the gym and diversify their movements as much. And a lot of the stuff that's coming out on the internet is very high intensity, single direction. So Kai, you told me you're doing a lot of running, uh, you're doing a lot of jumping, uh, kettlebell swings, but everything's in the straight ahead. So in the interest of your athletic competency, I want you to add in some multi-directional stuff. This isn't stuff that's gonna gash you. Very often the mistake made by the athlete is that it's gotta get me out of breath, it's gotta be hard. There's a difference. You wanna make sure that what you're doing, at least some of what you're doing, is setting you up to be a better athlete and a capable athlete when you get back to your multi-directional life, which is what sport is in most cases. So I'm gonna have you take it. You could do this in between your heavy sets. You could do it as a recovery day, working on explosion. It could be a day in and of itself where you really try to power. But we're gonna work on a move that uh, the Gray Institute calls jopping. It'll look like hopscotch. You're gonna go from two foot to out to one foot. And first, I want you to go out and stick the landing. So you're going out, stick, and come back. You're not worried about the explosion back yet, right? So I'll have you go out on your right leg to the right, because that's a that's a, a very common landing mechanism athletically. Stick and back. Good work. Give me one more rep. Fantastic. Now do me a favor, go out, sit in that hip, and simply explode out the other way. So you're gonna work on the gas pedal. Two foot. Nice. I like the way it was one sound, not two. It wasn't a shuffle, that's a different task. Ready? Sit in that hip, explode out. Good, notice the arm action, finding a way to let the body help. So now I want you to convert putting on the brakes and the shock absorber into the gas pedal right away. Because when you play, they are very, very interrelated. In fact, your body won't let you accelerate faster than you can decelerate, right? Ready? Out and back with power. Boom, nice. Nice job, he stays strong on the inside edge of that landing foot doesn't let his body distort a whole lot, but now we're gonna distort your body because that will happen. And we want to exaggerate the load on your ankle, up into your hip, groin up into your trunk. So you're gonna go out in the same direction, arms go over, and you power back, okay? Ready? Nice work, have that arm take, lean the head, and power, nice work. So we just went laterally to the right because it's a very common athletic position, all right? The, now what I want you to do is do it forward. We'll go through the same progression, okay? So just give me one rep of each. At home, you're probably gonna do three or four reps. Get skilled, you're teaching your body how to work and be athletic. Ready? Out and stick the landing for one on the right leg. Come back home, good. Now start out and power back. Squat, power back, two foot, nice job. Now go out and back, get out of the hole, boom! Nice work, and now add the arm swing forward. Power up, nice job. Let's do it backwards real quickly, right? Just so you can see, you can go in any direction. Good, backwards is tough though. He can handle this, he's, he's an athlete in my opinion. Ready? You're gonna go back and stick the landing. Good work. Now, start back, you can just go from there, start back, power forward. Single leg, nice work. Now we met, we've combined the two, you wanna convert it. So you're going backward, landing forward, two feet. Power, nice, and the final layer. Add the arms posterior and overhead. Good try, do it again. Real long arms, lengthen that anterior torso. Oh, nice work, very difficult, bravo. So he could go diagonally. He could start to, for injury prevention, work the opposite side of the spectrum, if you will. But outside, forward, and backward, great place to start.